I am Prachi. Uh, I am at Envirotech exhibition in Goa. Uh, basically, I am at stall number 21. Its name is Concept Biotech. Its a unique products looks like green dabba. I would like to know about uh, green dabba, what is this and how it's work. It's a very beautiful, it looks like. Uh, it's over to you, sir. Rocket Composter is one of our innovations and that is uh, from Concept Biotech and we are from Baroda, Gujarat, or you can say Vadodara. And about this product, I would say that you know this is the only product which is going to help you to manage your wet waste. And there is like you know we have in garbage, there are two things. One is the wet waste and one the dry waste. And today we are going to talk about this, you know, which is going to help you to manage your wet waste. Sir, sorry for interrupting. Sir, you are specially from Baroda to... Uh Yes, yes. I'm, 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 I'm coming specially from Baroda because we are coming here for the first time, and we see that you know in Goa there is good potential, and there are you know good panchayat and people are very cooperative, and I think that you know this would be a very important you know instrument which will help in uh, solving the problem of wet waste. Sir, what's your main objective to come Goa? Nice question. The objective is very clear. Uh, each and every city, you know, be it in Gujarat, be it in Goa, in each and every city has the problem of wet waste management, and we would like to uh, take care of this, you know, wet waste management or propose some solutions which are very important for, you know, uh, managing this waste at source and through decentralized waste management. It looks like. Why its name is rocket composter? See, rocket composter is because you can see that you know it is the shape of a rocket. You know, your rocket is slightly you know uh, having a very narrow space and its bottom is strong. So this is a shape of the rocket composter, but it doesn't work as a rocket composter, and there is no rocket science in that. This is a very simple composter which you just have to you know see that and you put the waste properly, and then you know you can operate it. How its processor and uh, what's the specialist about uh, rocket composter? Uh, very good question. Uh, this rocket composter uh, doesn't require any electricity. This rocket composter, you know, slightly looks better by any other machinery comparative. Mm -hmm. And it works on two major principles, which is wind and other is bacteria. And the two important principle is that, you know, the wind is when the wind rotates, you know, when this okay. rotates. Uh, then it sucks off any obnoxious gas which may be developed and that is the biggest advantage. This solves the problem of odor because odor is one thing which everybody tries to run away and this is the one thing which we can do. The process is very simple. You just have to open the lid, you know, put the waste, spread the waste and put our bioculture three spoons over it. and. So this allow the and shut it so fill it shut it and forget it slowly slowly it will decompose and as you know that waste management the organic waste break down into carbon dioxide which goes up and water which comes down this tapering shape helps the water to come down and that is called compost tea so this compost tea you just have to open the knob and take out the compost tea that is the product which you are getting. You don't get powder compost, but you are converting the wet waste into a compost tea. Okay, yeah, okay, that's the process. Okay, so what's used bacteria? I mean, what type of bacteria is used? See, bacteria, they are simple bacteria, mm -hmm. and uh, there is nothing like, you know, we are using soil based bacteria, so which are very safe, and that you have to put only three spoons over it. Okay, yeah. can we put in non veg also? Yes, you can put any type of food waste. It can be of you know non-veg food waste, cooked food waste, or vegetable waste. So you can put any type of waste. Which type of gas is released? So it is basically the carbon dioxide because we are breaking down the organic matter into carbon dioxide and water, and we don't allow methane or ammonia, which is the that's generation. My, uh, different. Uh, uh -huh. That's my second question is that uh, it generates methane. I think so. It's no, no. How it cannot generate methane because using the bacteria and it helps in breakdown into carbon dioxide and water. So there may be some smell of the food waste when you open, but there will no smell of any type of you know, greenhouse gas, especially the methane or S2S. According to my understanding, sir, uh, we can do composting in color dabba also. So why I pay uh, its cost is, sir? Yes, it is. this is costing 18,000 rupees. But more than that, you know, it is elegant looking. So you can do composting, but most of the composting fails because we are not able to um, operate properly. And that is the reason that, you know, this is one instrument which is easily 
you know you can operate and easily you can do this you design that type of uh, mm, that is uh, who will be the beneficiaries and how you connect to goa and uh, is it used for panchayat and it is used for cities see we have done a study of you know by going to the you know uh, government data and that is the data which we know and that is the reason uh, we before coming to this exhibition we have done the study of which of industry what is the total number of villages how is the city and based on that we are saying that you know this is the best product which you can use it in your terrace or flats uh, how we operate it over the beneficiaries it is a continuous process it is a continuous process there is no such cycle when you start putting your waste then after 15 days you start getting the liquid compost or you can say the compost tea and then after that you know continuously every 15 days you have to take the discharge out of the bandy liquid used ha ah, so this liquid is uh, used for you know plants and the simple way is that this is a very concentrated you know compost tea you have to dilute to 5 times or 10 times with water and then use this because it is very concentrated mm, what about odor and what about mosquitoes it's difficult to put uh, outside a house can you explain me <coughs> very good question because this is the most prevalent question or a common man will be asking us uh, the important is a closed digester you know this is a closed digester and as i said that you know this is the you know air circulator which we are giving so most of the odor is controlled by the bacteria because when it breaks down into carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is odorless and when any other food smell comes then it will be you know the air circulator will be moving and it will be removing the odor second comes about mosquitoes and flies we give guarantee of three things that there is no flies or mosquito because it's a closed container and it doesn't allow any type of you know it doesn't attract any flies and mosquito you may have mosquito in your house but we guarantee you will not have mosquito around the composter and inside the composter uh, what is the by product of rocket composter so uh, important is that you know this residue is what you know for example if you are taking you know out a juice from an uh, orange or if you are taking juice out of uh, an mosambi you know so you when you crush it out then there is some pulp remaining so it is the same thing you know you are taking out the whole water and that pulp is the residue so this residue you know in some point of time you know after an year after an year the total residue will be up to this part you just have to you know remove the lid and take out this and that residue is a excellent manure it is an you know excellent mulch you can say just mix it with 50% of soil 50% of this and put it into the pot your soil will never get you know hard that is that is going to make your soil very porous okay it smells so residue Ah, uh, residue. Yes, at the end of the time, after one year, it will be having some smell. But uh, when you are putting waste, there is no odor. So main part is that when you are using the composter for your food waste, it will not smell. As you said, uh, it is generated compost tea. What is the compost tea? Uh, compost tea is basically a concentrate of all the nutrients and the matter, which is the moisture, which is coming out from the food waste. as you will be knowing that food waste is 70% water like 65 to 70% water so at present when you are transferring this food waste from one point to other point you are transferring water so we are trying to break down that water and that compost is having water and the nutrients which is very important and that nutrients you know we use it for plants so you have to dilute with you know 5 liters of water and rest 5 liters and then you can use it How this rocket composter works, sir? So this is an virgin SDP material, and uh, this is molded, and uh, it has been like you know put into mold, and we are using this. This air circulator is FRP, and these are the pipes, you know again SDP pipes, and you have one tap at the below. So this is the one thing. So this tap is like you know going to you know help you to take out the compost tea. And now I'll you know try to show you how an an, an person will be. you know doing this uh, composting process okay. so first of all when Can you, you open, uh, yeah I'll, i'll open it uh, when you have wet waste you know you have to do one thing is that you have to ensure that the wet waste is not more than 5 kg so uh, i'll now show you you know by opening it how this first of all it's a it's a threaded this thing you have to you know remove this you know very uh, delicately and uh, put it aside and now <coughs> you can see that Uh, this is the digester this is a main digester okay. so when do you installation when you do it you know 
first of all what we give with this you know you get this type of uh, and uh, what you call plate or you know which is having you know a uh, lot of holes in this so this is sort of a strainer so your food waste should come over it so you have to you know spread the food waste so when you put from the top and you have to spread from the food waste and now you can see that you know the bottom is very clear and uh, in bottom first of all put some pebbles okay. to that you know uh, that uh, tap level so that the water comes out you know the story that you know how a crow drank water from an yes, you know yes, and pitcher sorry. so he started putting pebbles in the pitcher and the water level came up yes. so that is a simple story which everybody should know and then after that putting the pebbles just you know put this inside okay okay now it is well placed now you don't have to remove okay so this completes your installation this completes your installation so your rocket compost is installed now when you get the wet waste now you have to spread the wet waste and put it here okay after that you know this is the culture which you get so this culture is you know composition of soil bacteria basic bacteria just you know after putting the waste sprinkle three spoons i said three spoons on maximum four spoons of mm -hmm. this culture over this and then again you have to close this so okay this is you you have to close this again so this is the process which you have to follow daily you do these things you know but ensure that you don't put more than 5 kg waste per day that is called the loading rate i would like to tell you that this is 250 liters bin rocket composter 250 liters so that don't get confused that to put 250 you know or 25 kg it is 5 kg per day and that will suffice the purpose of managing your wet waste okay it's mein hum daily 5 kg tak waste yes. cook food dal sakte hain yeah. if we have one cook food then uh, hey. in any cook food see the whole idea is that you know uh, a person normally in house generates 500 grams waste it is not 5 kg so 10 houses if you take this then 10 houses would be generating around 5 kg so one rocket composter is sufficient for 10 houses so if you are having a building a small flat having 20 houses so you require only two rocket composter so these two rocket composters are very simple and basic and this is going to help you to solve your wet waste problem sir what is this it looks like pankha yeah what this is an air circulator so now you can see that you know we are inside a room so this will not move but if you are going to put a fan so then it will start moving so normally when you are putting on the terrace or when you are open the open land so there is the air you know which flows and you have wind so with this wind it you know moves and it sucks off the you know any gas which is trapped inside now exhibition is over so sir what's your next plan for uh, introduce to goa rocket composter exhibition is over but the work is not over uh, we have come with a very basic aim of you know making goa wet waste free or you can say the garbage free and our target would be you know the residential areas and uh, the gram panchayat where we can help the gram panchayat to be you know wet waste free and also help the city you know which is also to be wet waste free so the whole idea is that you know to have at least few important societies where we can demonstrate where we can see that you know this is going to be a workable a scalable and an important solution for goa that's good sir fantastic your machine is really very fantastic thank you thank you for the appreciation and i have hope that all the goan people would love this rocket composter and i wish and you wish good luck and bless us with your advice okay here prachi patni thanks to dr sunit dabke and uh, batane ke liye the how its work and rocket composter looks like rocket and its style that's a success it looks elegant and beautiful goa requires this type of uh, don't miss opportunity people grab the opportunity and save the environment we are here to help you thank you so much